Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors, and today we're going to take a look at how to clear clogs and jams on your Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini. Before we get started here, please click that like and subscribe button, and if you have time, leave me a quick comment. Uh, if these videos help you out, please consider helping me out and do those three things really fast. Uh, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. So, that said, let's dive in here. Before we get into how to fix this, let's take a look at what the causes are. If your extruder is knocking, your filament isn't feeding, it's usually one of two issues. One, you have a clogged nozzle, and all that is is you have an obstruction of some kind down in the nozzle itself that is preventing filament from feeding through cleanly, and it's really easy to fix. And what we're gonna do in a minute, and I'll show you how to do this, is a cold pull. What that is, is you are preheating the nozzle, allowing that filament to melt to the obstruction, and then you allow the nozzle to cool slightly and pull that filament out. And what it will do is pull the obstruction with it. Um, that's really easy to do. We're gonna cover that in a minute. The other most common way that the A1 and A1 Mini can experience a filament jam is Anytime you change filaments or you're using the AMS and it's swapping filaments in and out, you run the risk of breaking off a small piece of filament in the extrusion system. That piece of filament then acts as a block to feeding uh, filament through the system and extruding properly. So all we're going to do is disassemble the extruder slightly and allow that piece of filament to fall out cleanly. It's a really simple procedure. All you're going to do is remove the filament hub and usually at that point uh, the piece will fall out cleanly if it doesn't we then feed in a fresh piece of filament from the top pushing it out but again both of these types of issues are very very simple to resolve and we're going to get into how to do that right now the first thing you're going to do is go to your settings we're going to make sure that maintenance mode is turned on this will allow the hot end to be heated uh, so that we can run the extruder if necessary while the nozzle is removed. So once that is done, you're going to uh, preheat it to 220 degrees or even say about 200 would be fine. Once it's preheated, you're going to want to remove the front cover. Just squeeze the bottom left and right uh, sides of it and pull straight out. Once you have that off, uh, remember this is hot, so you're going to use needle nose pliers to remove the uh, hot end sock or the nozzle sock. Uh, use the pliers just to pop open the retaining clips on the left and the right. Once those are open, you're going to use a pair of pliers just to pull the uh, uh, nozzle assembly out. Um, if you have not already done so, remove the filament from the system. Uh, go ahead and clip it with that side lever and then pull the nozzle out. And then with a pair of needle nose pliers, you can pull the filament out and do a cold pull. Uh, if there is a clog in that nozzle, that should resolve it. When you set the nozzle aside, it is incredibly hot. Be sure to set it on a metal surface or in a metal container until it can properly cool down. At this point, I'm going to dial the uh, temperature down to zero and let it cool. Now, to remove the Bowden tube, you're going to use tweezers to push down on that black ring. As you are pushing down on the ring, pull up on the Bowden tube and that will release it. By pushing down on that ring, you're releasing the little teeth that hold the Bowden tube in place. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm just pushing down with the tweezers and I'm going to apply pressure on either side of that Bowden tube and pull straight up and it will release from the filament hub. And we're just going to set that aside there. Next up, to release the collar on the filament hub, you're going to need to get a small tool under that little tab there. I'm just using tweezers and push up, and the filament hub will release. It's just got a small ridge on the front and back, and when you apply pressure under that tab, it'll pull up. As soon as I did that, the little piece of filament that had broken off inside and was causing my jam fell out, um, and that will likely happen for you. Uh, if it doesn't, what you'll want to do is feed a piece of filament and pull that lever on the left outward, uh, the extruder lever there, and just work it all the way down through the system till it pops out the bottom, and that will push out any uh, broken filament inside the filament hub and the extruder assembly. 
when you put the filament hub back in make sure that tab the short tab is aligned with that long tab just guide it into place and push that collar down front and back and it will just snap into place make sure the hub freely moves up and down once you've done that you can reinsert your bowden tube uh, if you're using an ams you'll put all four in if you're just using one like me just put the one reinsert your nozzle close the clips on it and then finally put your uh, the uh, insulation sock back on in place and since you've cooled it down everything will be fine to touch with your bare fingers uh, finish up by putting the front plate back in place just rock put it those two top tabs aligned and then rock it into place and push it in okay that's it for cleaning out clogs and jams in your bamboo lab a1 and a1 mini i hope this helped you out uh, if it has please click that like and subscribe button and leave me a quick comment thank you